go back to the recent. So that tab is not visible on most other game boards. The recent, I think, is pretty awesome because of the fact that you can then go back, and this is more, more or less your favorites list. So then you have, it's a recent list, but it's also your favorites list. It's what you've been playing the most of. So then it shows you all the different games that are being played. The, the really fun part and cool part about this guy is that when you're playing a game, let's say um, Super Mario Brothers. We're going to jump into that guy. Damn it, just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to jump into this guy, press the one button, A button here. I'm going to start a game up and press start. Now, when you're playing this game, I got the volume kind of low here. But while you're playing this game, this is the hard, extra hard version, by the way. It's totally different than your regular version, which is neat. They, we have like different variations of Mario Brothers. Can't get that with one hand, man. Dang it. But anyway, so we're, we're let's say we're right here, right? We're actually going to run past the stage as far, as far as I can without getting killed. That was super lucky, by the way. All right, so let's say we're right here. We're going to pause. I'm going to press the start button. Right? And we're going to press, the, there's a coin button here. And what that does, it brings up continue, exit game, save state, or load state. And what we're going to do is press button C, save state. It's going to be our third button here. And it's going to save the game. So right now we're at three, 316 seconds there. So what I'm going to do now is press coin again and we're going to exit the game i'm going to press b we're going to jump out and we're out of the game now so we're completely a whole new game we're just out just not not in the same spot anymore what i'm going to do then is jump back into the game i don't even know if i even picked the right game i think i didn't so i'm going to go back where the heck was this There's, there it is okay i'm going to pick this guy we're going to jump back in and as soon as we jump back in, it's going to be in its original form where it says insert coin. Now, if I press uh, the coin button again, I press start and then press coin. It should come up with a, or once the game starts. Oh, I press run button. Once the game starts, it'll give me the, the option. I got to press uh, start. Start then coin. Dang it, it didn't do it. Okay, so sometimes it gives you the <laughs> option to save and load the game. It should have it here, though. I don't know what I did wrong here, but it's one of those things. Did I pick the right game? I think I went to the wrong one. It's super hard. I think it was a super hard version. I got to jump back to that one to see. Yeah, I think it was this one. So I'm going to start this guy. And this is the one that was kind of neat that you're able to press. There you go. I pressed the coin button. So not all of them give you the option, but some of them do to be able to, to save the load state. So right now it's at 399 seconds and we're going to go to load state. So we'll press button D. So it's A, B, C, D. We're going to press that guy and that should go to time 316. There it is, dude. So we're able to then, then uh, play the game and... It's paused, by the way, so it's kind of funny that I, paused, I left it paused, and it came back, saved, paused. Ah, I'm dead. So <laughs> so anyway, so that's really cool that you can actually pause this thing. So I'm going to jump back out of here. And again, and what's neat is that you can save and play and keep going and keep going, and you can save again and save as many times as you want, which is really neat. It keeps erasing the last save, so it's a never-ending save thing, which is kind of neat because if you keep dying in a certain area, you can try it over and over and over without losing lives, which I thought was pretty badass. Uh, if you play play your cards right, you can play the whole game with one game, so that's or one uh, one guy. So that's pretty neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into exit game. We're gonna exit game, and jump back out. Now the other features. Now there's a ton of games on this thing. There's so many games. There's like seven thousand something games on this fella. So we're gonna go. It's a zero zero one. Now this thing has PlayStation One, Nintendo sixty four, Dreamcast games. I mean, it has it has just a ton of games. So it has 7,991 games. 7,991. And there's just a ton of games. Just You'll notice, um, oh, it's actually 8,000 games. Damn, I didn't see the bottom. So 8,000 games. 
I'm going to keep flicking to the left here, and you're going to see that there's certain little icons that are a little different, and those are usually the MAME. And these, these guys here are Famicom, different icons. There you go. you got the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. It shows Xbox, but it's not Xbox. A lot of people ask about that one. Game Boy Advance. You can keep looking at those little icons there, and the games will keep popping up. What's neat is that it gives you a little little preview of what, what you're going to be playing. So that, I love that part. Um, Game Boy Advance. Keep showing Game Boy Advance stuff. And all of a sudden you see like Dreamcast, a little circle, a little red spiral circle. Still flying. That's a ton of Game Boy Advance games. So this, there's just so much stuff, man. There's a lot going on there. So, and still going. And it's flying. I'm, I'm holding the, the joystick to the left. And what it does is that it moves, um, it jumps through entire uh, pages. So it's jumping through pages at one at a time. So you can see that page 460 something of 800 pages. So there's a ton of pages in this guy. So we're with the Super Famicom now. And again, for certain games, there's a Neo Geo. So that, that's a controller, a little, little joystick controller. It's a little Neo Geo. Uh, did I see Neo Geo? NEC, TurboGrafx-16. I messed that up. It just has a bunch of stuff in there. I think that's... Some of this stuff is... Let's punch out. Some of these guys I noticed are, are actually Dreamcast. I think some of those Xbox games are actually Dreamcast. But they should have like a little spiral on them. But there's so many games on this thing. It's kind of neat. So there's not just this. This is just the beginning of, of the intro of what we have going on with this fella. So this is really cool to see how many games are even here. This is just freaking nuts. Still going through. There's tons of games. It has Famicom and MAME. So there's a bunch of stuff there. And that uh, Tony Hawk play. Yeah, there you go. There's some, there's some uh, PlayStation 1 games. Toy Story 2. And then there's actually Nintendo 64. GoldenEye 64. Oh, that is Nintendo 64 then, yeah. GoldenEye, that's in there, which is playable, which is even crazier. That that usually never works. Now it works on this system, which we're totally, totally blown away with. I can't believe we even have that. Doom 64 was another huge game back in the day. It was one of our, one of our games. Um, we're going to keep going to see what we can find. I was hoping to find some Dreamcast in here. I know some of our other game boards have Dreamcast. And this guy definitely has Dreamcast and all kinds of stuff in there as well. It's just a matter of seeing them or finding them. Damn it, it went the other way. So, tons of games, lots of MAME games, lots of uh, console games. Um, now, what's neat is if you're looking for a specific game and you can't find it in here, and you're like, dang, there's just 8,000 games, but there's just not enough. <laughs> there's that one you're looking for in particular. You can literally, literally take this, this joystick, and there's a little black button right here, this little fella. And all you do is push that guy. And right now we're in the game menu. In the game menu here, I'm going to press it. And it's going to take us to a different menu. Let's press it once and just, I'm just going to hang back. So what happens with this guy is that we, this is where our settings are. So you can do the coin settings of free play, exit mode, start and coin, auto exit. You could, you could enable or disable it. You could, you could do your image optimization to high definition or not. I think you could even add scan lines in case you want to you want to be able to play that play the game like uh, you could add scan lines. See? You could a disable enable HD. You could do different languages. Enter enter game settings. You could go to individual game settings. So you go in here and mess around with you know, forced game time pricing. Um, if you want you you want to be able to edit your de difficulties in life uh, lives your favorite list your game list delete all games or delete a single game. You can do all these things, which is kind of neat. So the other thing is you go in here and you can hook up. You can check for updates. You can always go in. So what you do is you hook it up to your Wi-Fi. So with this guy, we're hooked up to our Wi-Fi here. But what we do is we take the joystick, take the joystick and press down. And you highlight the area that it's in. So we have we have ACES set up so it's an easy connect. We didn't have to put a passport password in. But if you do need a password, you you highlight this guy and you'll have a, a little icon box over here you have to pre press the uh put your uh input in and put your uh your password so with this guy already having it i'm going to do a quick test for check for update just press the a button 
It does a really quick update and says, check for update. Click on that. It says you are using the latest update now. So you're done with that. You press the D button, jump back out. And uh, that way you have the latest of the latest at all times. Uh, you, you go to enter game market. We're going to go in there and then we're going to look at the category. So there's different, different game categories. You can see what kind of systems you want to download. So you have uh, the arcade games, main games. You have the Sega Genesis, the Dreamcast, the P PlayStation 1 or P PlayStation 2. I'm sorry, PlayStation 1, uh, 1 or PSP games. Uh, the Wonder Swan games, the NEC uh, TurboGrafx-16 games, the Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, and you have the Super Famicom or, su or regular Famicom, which is like your Nintendo or Super Nintendo. It's just the Japanese version. So you have those guys, or you could just look them up by genres of what kind of games you're looking for, like action, shooting games, sport games, fighting games, racing games, puzzle games. and Or you could do a search. You could even go to the download management of what kind of games we've downloaded. So we have we have one game here that we downloaded. It ended up being Grand Theft Auto Vice City. We're still waiting on that guy. It has a 29% download rate there. So, so we're downloading that guy. There's just tons of games that we were already downloaded on here. Right now there's three of them and we downloaded them and there was no internet. So we had to, <laughs> they stopped downloading. We're like, oh crap. So we're going to have to re-download guy, those guys. So, so we didn't uh, hook it up to our internet fast enough. So the, the other thing is you have all these different fighting games. You have your search bar. So now, now you can actually do your search if you're looking for a specific game. Let's say you're looking for uh, Super Mario Brothers or something. It's already came up there. So then, then there's 1,053 Super Mario Brothers games on here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. 1,053 items that, that look like Super Mario Brothers. Now, here's where you have the option to download whatever game you like. There's going to be so many different variances, like this guy, Super Mary. It looks just like Super Mario, but it's called Super Mary. There's all these different styles. There's a verse, the original verse arcade. That's the verse uh, up, upright arcade. And or even sit down arcade, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Invincible Edition. So there's <laughs> all kinds of weird little things. Uh, Marvel Superheroes is going to be Sunset Riders. Marvel, uh, I'm sorry, Super Mario Brothers 3. There's going to be a bunch of stuff like mixed up and there's All-Star Marios. And there's so many like made up Marios, like homebrew Marios, Chinese version, of the, you know, versions. There's so much stuff. Um, this guy, Super Mario All-Stars. There's games that were made up that nobody else even had, like this guy, Super Mario Brothers 3 Heck. There's stuff in here that no one's ever played. That's uh they're just they're just made up arcade games or video games that people made on their own, like this guy, Super Mario Lost Gate, Japanese edition. So that's kind of cool that there's so many different versions, but there's tons of stuff. If you just keep looking, there's just it's just here's another one, Super Mario World. And it's another whole different edition, not even the same one that we usually normally play. Another one, Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Yoshi, or Mario Yoshi, sorry, so Mario Yoshi. There's just so much stuff in this guy. So it's kind of neat that you can do that. You can just go in and it's super easy. So let's say like this guy, this Super Mario Brothers, uh, this is going to be Super Mario Land, the Chinese version. So we're gonna, let's, let's click on that guy. I'm going to show you how fast this thing downloads. So like an old school game like this is 41 kilobytes. And if you, you press, I think I downloaded this thing already. Dang it, it's already there. It's to start game. So you can start a game from here as well, which is kind of cool. So you don't necessarily have to go uh, back into your original uh, settings. It just, you can start from here. So you could have a Chinese version that didn't even exist in the U.S. And you could play that whole different versions. It's nice. It's from 2010, this guy. So you could play different games off that guy. You could download certain games like this guy, Super Mario Racing. So we're going to have start game. So that one's already in my 7,001 or 8,001 uh, list. There's so many games that are already loaded up. There's Super Mario Land. So that's the, that's the one we're looking at right now. The Super Mario Content Continent Invisible Hack Edition. See, so there's there's just so many different different styles, and it's cool. So sometimes if you can't find it in the other uh, main list, you can look for it here, do a search, and if if that doesn't work out, then you go you go somewhere else and look around. Uh, just you know, then the, then it's not there. If you can't find it, it's not there. <laughs> so we have let's say like shooting games. Let's see, looking for stuff like that. So there's like there's Contra, 
the 1945, all the different shooting games. They kind of they kind of broke that up into a couple different uh, different genres here. So it's kind of nice to be able to just look for specific games. So that's neat. You have action games and sports games, racing games. Let's see how many racing games we have here. There you go. Ridge Racer 2, Crazy Taxi, Gran Turismo. I don't know what that is. It looks like some Nice for Speed stuff. Mm, Cruising World is in there. Automobili Lambo. Oh, Automobili Lamborghini. That's a good one. Rush 2, very hard game to emulate on every, any system. That extreme racing is not easy. You have Need for Speed, Rivals, Rivals Underground. There's Revolt. That was a PlayStation 1 game. It's, it's running on G Dreamcast Simulator. The Star Wars Episode 1, 18 Wheel Truck. I actually played that. That was pretty cool. So there's a bunch of the good racing games on here from back in the day. There, Even some of the dirt bike, Jeremy McGrath. That's a pretty good, pretty good one. I wonder if they have like Dave Miras BMXing and racing. I don't know if they have that stuff, but I have to look that up later. But yeah, so so far, yeah, there's just a lot of games. They have a lot of games in here that are all just racing games. They have Hot Wheel Racing up there, uh, Midnight Club 3. So there's just a lot of old school games that, that were ported over, so that's really nice. They have a lot of puzzle games too. Yeah, the Mario Worlds, Ice Climber, the Sonic. So that was neat. Yeah, up until a couple of years ago, I didn't even realize there was a Sonic arcade. So it was pretty neat to find that out. I thought we knew everything about arcades, man. I don't know what happened. I must have skipped that on us. But yeah, so there's a there's a, a ton of puzzle games in here too. There's like 447 of them. Of just just puzzle games. Um, so yeah, so you go into every one of these systems. Like so, you go into an individual system like Dreamcast here, and you can just find any and every game. And let them kind of come up. And there's games in here that aren't weren't even available here in the U.S. or that we couldn't we just they just aren't around and they're really hard to find. And and or you need to find like a Japanese version of a, a Dreamcast to be able to play a specific game if you did did find it or you know just run, come across it like on a online. You're like, well, that looks pretty cool. It's like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy a whole new Dreamcast and it has to be a Japanese version one. So. That's even crazier. There's usually a lot more, a little, a little on the higher end side and hard to find working. That's another deal. <laughs> you get stuff not working, you're like, ah, oh, crap. So yeah, there's a ton of stuff on here. It's 194 games for Dreamcast. And the, the graphics, the images aren't aren't showing up yet. They're kind of catching up to us here. There we go. That's pretty neat. So yeah, so some of these games, being that that they're console games, um, they're meant to be played with a controller. You know, just a regular controller. And what we do have, let's put set this thing down here. So we, put, we do have a controller. So there's a little, a little controller we have here. It looks just like a PlayStation 2 control, and it's wireless. This guy hooks up via USB to the joystick here, to the buttons, and and you're able to then just turn it on and click away, and you could even use that, sit down on a couch and play that guy from afar. You don't necessarily have to use the joysticks and buttons. The, the select or the coin and start button on this guy is actually select and start. So that's kind of neat to be able to do that. And you can also set your play, your player. Uh, you turn it on, you press mode, and it turns on the little light here to player one and player two. If they're both lit up, it's a player two. If only one of those little LEDs in there is lit up, it's a player one. So that's how you know your uh, your setup, uh, setup plane. So, and then, then if they're blinking, you have player three and player four. So that's kind of neat that you can play up to four players on these guys. So there's, there's different modes. Um, there's different times that you got to let go and hold that mode button to kind of let that happen. But it's kind of neat that you have, you have a, so much going on in one small package. And we can also, we have the ability to make this guy into a HDMI wireless system. And what we do is we just, we just connect a, uh, a little hookup into the HDMI here. 
and and we just you're able to just uh just tape it we use double sided sticky tape it or put a little piece of velcro or something on this on this back side here along the side actually we put it right here right here on the side and uh, it's only about three inches long it's pretty small and we're able to just hook a little wireless HDMI cord up to it. So that's kind of neat. The other thing we've been working on is trying to figure out how to place a battery inside this guy that's rechargeable. So we don't necessarily have to have this thing hooked up to uh, to the wall. But it is nice to have this thing hooked up to the wall so you can have constant power. So you don't have uh, you know a game day out, day out in the middle of it. And uh, I believe we will be able to put something in there. Some, um, some batteries that will probably last about four to six hours. So that'd be kind of neat to have that. Um, so anyway, yeah, cool little things. Um, I'm going to jump back out into the, I'm going to find this little button here. Go back to our settings. So with all the, all the settings and all that, you're able to do so many things. You can set up your key settings. So there's another thing too that I wanted to show you guys is your gamepad settings. So you go in there and modify your your buttons on your gamepad so if there's certain buttons you want to move on your uh, playstation style controller you can do up down left right you, you can do like uh, inverted controls you can change your shooting get buttons into different buttons so that's neat um you could again redefine the keys even for this guy so if if you feel like cer certain buttons should be a certain different place you can actually change them here so that's kind of neat you can go Put the A at the bottom, E at the top. You know, if you want to make them move around and customize your own style of play, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of little uh, options with the uh, mapping of the buttons. So this is, this is a lot more elaborate of a of a setup than most of our uh, other setups. This is our, our newest system that we have that we've been building up now. And it's it's a 18s Pro, so it's a modified version of what we have going on now. And uh, what's neat is that this guy, this thing's set up to a server. Um, and it's hooked up via Wi-Fi to to the system, so you're able to download whatever games. And you can again, if you don't have enough room, you delete a couple games. And I mean, you delete them, you 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 could always download them again. So that's always nice. Um, you can't screw this up. If you do screw something up, you just re-download the games. I mean, it's pretty easy. Um, you don't want to delete the whole library because then you'll be you have to do, download every every single one of them individually, and that would take some time. Um, takes several weeks <laughs> to do that, so you don't want to do that. And uh, so anyway, yeah. Hopefully um, this video helped you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, um, let us know. You can get back to us anytime. Um, give us a call here at four zero two six four one forty four eighty two. If you have any uh, any suggestions or you want this thing built in a cocktail table or a megacade or ultracade, we can totally do that. And add the HDMI out um, setup. We could do a four-player setup. We could do so many little things. Cool little intro. And uh, yeah, give us a call or email us at arcadefunkade at gmail.com or look us up on arcadefunkade.net. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. And uh, this is Dan with Arcade Funkade saying game on and until next time.